Hi guys, this is the second part of the tutorial for starters and today I will teach you how to start drawing lines. To draw a line I can go to the home panel on the top and click on the icon line with the left button. Another option is typing line with the keyboard and click enter. If you look to the command bar, you can see that I have the command line active. Also, the mouse indicator has changed. Now it doesn't have the square in the middle. That appears in this form when I use any drawing tools. You can find them in this panel. To start drawing, I can just click somewhere here to enter the first point and click again where I want the second point, for example here. Now I can enter a second line, but I can click ESC to cancel the comment. Ok, so we have drawn a line. However, it was without any specific dimension and direction, and this is not going to be useful for us. I want to show you how to insert a horizontal line with dimension 1000. For now the units doesn't matter, I will show you how to edit them later. Ok, so if I type enter now, I activate the command line again. This is because it was the last command I have been using and it's very useful for repeatedly actions. So, I click to insert the first point and I'm going to drag to the right. Now, here appear this dashed green line and saying here polar. This means that my line will be horizontal. Now I will type 1000 and click enter. Now this line is completely horizontal and specified as 1000. To be possible to draw completely horizontal or vertical lines, we need the polar mode on. Now I will deactivate it, which is here at the bottom, to show you what will happen. I will draw another line now, and as you see, the dashed line is not there. And even if I try to draw it as horizontal as possible, it will be for sure a little bit out of the place. For this reason, I strongly recommend you to have the polar mode on if you need to draw lots of horizontal and vertical lines. To draw on your orthogonal lines, I can switch on the ortho mode, which is this button next to the polar mode. Drawing a line again. So I click for my first point and the cursor only lets me to draw a vertical or a horizontal line. So I will type now 100, now 200 and I will continue drawing. This will be 100, now I will draw another line. I can draw how many lines as I want. When I finish, I simply click ESC. This last one, I have to make it 100 to match the line below. Ok, so the last thing I will teach you today is to draw a line with a specified angle. I will draw first an horizontal line. And now the next one, I want to draw it with length 200. And now if I type the button tab, I can specify the angle that I want. And I will put for example 30 degrees 
and click enter to place it. So this is all from my side. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.